Hey everybody, Neil Flynn, back with more Watch Me Play Demo Night. This time we're taking a look at the first title of the Xbox Live Summer of Arcade. Um, and it is called Brothers. Um, I'm not very familiar with this game at all, other than it, that it's a Summer of Arcade title, so I thought we'd take a look at it, so we'll see. Um, as with all Xbox Live Arcade games, there, you know, there's a free trial that you can download for any single game that's on Xbox Live Arcade, which is really kind of cool. You can check it out and decide. You don't have to, you know, you can decide if you want to buy it. You don't have to plunk out the money and not knowing necessarily what you're going to get. So, I kind of like that. So, like I said, I'm not very familiar with this one, so we'll see. This is 20 minutes in the game. The brothers are on a journey to save their father. Okay. Hold triggers to interact or at least to let go. Big brother, little brother. Okay. Oh, here we go. Yeah, okay. We got to push, push the gate open. Okay. Does the little brother come along? Oh, he's still trying to push the gate down there. Oh, he's... Okay. So each stick controls a brother. That is kind of goofy. That's a little tricky to get used to. <laughs> I gotta admit. That, oh, that control scheme is really kind of hard to get used to. Especially when you're used to playing FPS's, like, holy cow. <laughs> it's so counterintuitive to what you're used to. As you can see, I'm having a lot of trouble. We need you to move, dude. I think we need to go that way. Well, maybe we can go this way. I mean, it looks really, really good. The art style is really cool, but this control scheme is... Uh-oh. We got a stampeding dog. Alright, how, how are we going to get past the dog, I guess is the question. Fast as fast can be, you'll never catch me. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> It's not good when you move the wrong one. Alright, well we never get it that fairly easily. I really can't get used to this control scheme. <laughs> oh, get up there, little bro. Climb, brothers, climb. gotten too far apart. Alright. 
Seems like Big Brother should be able to get up there. Oh, he's gonna boost Little Brother. Huh. Oh, that was, that was kinda cool. Alright, now can he... There you go, throw the rope down to Big Brother. Big Brother gets... Yeah. Alright. Come on. There we go. Okay. Seems like. Yeah. Tata. I mean, it's definitely different. Okay, now how do I get the other one across? Can I... I can pet the sheep. brother can do something that little brother can't. Ah, big brother can pick up a sheep, see? Alright, so we gotta pick up a sheep, I think. Get little brother to lower the bridge again. Sheep to walk. See, I'm my Mr. Smart Guy here. So the only thing that's really thrown me for a loop is the controls. I just cannot get used to that. This is not the same. Seems a little precarious up here. giant troll thing. <laughs> I mean, it's definitely something different, which I, I'm always a fan of things that dare to be different. So I give it credit there. Friendly giant troll thing. Mm. 
We're not going to try and ask why he was crying. We don't get to find out why he, why he was crying. Okay, but how do I get over there? Oh, is he going to... something here. Hi. Well, there you go. <laughs> Get up there. Hey, And that's all we get. But, a nice little taste. I mean, like I said, I love games that dare to do something different. Um, and Sim of Arcade usually tries to highlight at least one of those um, in, in the series of games. I think Limbo was one one year, which is one of those games that just is amazingly different. Um, so I definitely give it credit there. I don't know that I could get used to that control scheme. It would probably take me... Especially coming from an FPS background, uh, is very counterintuitive to what you're used to doing, but definitely one that uh, I would recommend you check out. So give it a look, and we'll see you guys later with more Watch Me Play Demo Night.